the tractor doesn't have an ISO connector, so I've retrofitted one here, and I've got the power coming directly from the battery. This is to ensure adequate power supply. This tractor has open center hydraulics and you need to set the spray hydraulic block up accordingly. You'll find the information in the instruction book and the hydraulic block is located up under here. The sprayer requires two double acting outlets from the tractor. Uh, one is for the spray boom and one is for the support leg. The uh, minimum pressure from the tractor should be 170 bar or 2500 psi. The return pressure should be no more than 15 bar or 220 psi. Uh, this sprayer has got road lights, so I need to connect this to Tidy up the hoses so they don't rub or foul. Uh, the bracket can be adjusted here. Before you connect the transmission shaft, you have to find the shortest distance between the tractor PDO and the sprayer. Stop the engine and see if the shaft needs to be shortened. This sprayer has a tracking system, so I need to connect the potential meter. I've got the tractor and sprayer lined up. The attachment points must be parallel from the, both the top and the side. The torsion arms are set so they are vertical or pointing a little bit forward. Correct setting shows 2.5 volts in the computer toolbox menu. 